A night of ghoulish costumes, haunted houses, trick or treat, witches, and jack o' lanterns. What is Halloween really about? Well, the exact origin of Halloween celebrations remains disputed by scholars. Most pointed back to the ancient Celtic festival Samhain as the origin of Halloween. The Celts divided their year into two halves or seasons: the light half, the summer; the dark half, the winter. October 31st was the transitional time between the end of the summer and the beginning of winter, with its darker and shorter days that were often associated with death. The Celts believed the boundaries between the land of the living. And the land of the dead became blurred on October 31st, and the dead could cross over into this world to visit souls. To avoid being recognized and sought by ghosts, when they left their house, the Celts would wear masks or other disguises to trick the ghosts, so they wouldn't think they were a fellow spirit. This is where society gets its practice of dressing up in costume for Halloween. Celtic priests or druids told people to go with one another to gather food from each other's houses to appease the ghosts, spirits, fairies, witches, elves, and other worldly creatures believed to come out at that night and harm people. This food often included dainty sweets. And is one theory as to the origin of trick or treating. If the evil spirit didn't get properly treated or sent off, they would play a trick on people instead. Many divination and occult practices took place on this night. People sought out spirits of their ancestors and other beings to tell the future about weather and crop expectations. Or even romantic interests. One tradition for women included standing in front of a mirror with a candle in a darkened room, where it was said that the face of their future husband would pass before them. God makes it clear where He stands on these sorts of practices. There shall not be found among you any one that maketh his son or his daughter. To pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer, for all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord, and because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. Celtic people also used hollowed-out turnips or pumpkins to carve frightening faces and to put a candle to keep harmful spirits away from their homes. This is where the practice of carving pumpkin came from. Other theories say it was meant to act like a lamp to guide the dead ancestors to the meal left out for them. When Rome conquered Celtic territory. Aspects of Roman paganism became fused with the Celtic tradition of Samhain. The Romans have a similar festival, Feralia, a day in late October where Romans commemorated the passing of the dead. The word Halloween literally means the Eve of All Hallows or All Saints, which had to do with the Catholic Church. The concept originated in 609 A.D. with Pope Boniface IV as a day for remembering the Church's martyrs. In the 9th century, Pope Gregory III dedicated this day to all the saints, hence the name All Hallows or All Saints Day, and moved it from May to November 1st. Directly after the Celtic pagan festival of Samhain, the night before, which was October 31st, became known 
as All Hallows' Eve and eventually Halloween. Sawen is also connected to modern-day Wicca, an old English word for witch. This religion is an offshoot of the ancient Celtic witchcraft of Wales, Scotland, and Ireland. Sawen was one of the more important Sabbat or seasonal holidays of the year that witches held sacred. Celtic priests believe that witches ride on broomsticks this night and can change themselves into black cats. Many Wiccans claim this holiday as their day, taking part in activities such as ritual purification, divination, and contact with dead ancestors. Vampires, witches, ghosts, goblins, and other such morbid costumes fill the streets on Halloween night. Haunted houses are decorated with violent imagery, showing blood-stained hands, faces, and decapitated bodies. This day is increasingly focused on the perverse, the gothic, and the occult. By participating in Halloween, we support ideas based on superstition, occult, and the worship of the dead, thereby celebrating darkness, demons, and death. Ideas that are against the light and life we find in the Bible. As Christians, even participating in children's trick-or-treating is a nod to this satanic festival. If you'd like to support videos like this, please go to amazingdiscoveries.org.